Saying Trey Songs was fighting in Dubai. Where, where did you see that? Let me look this up on Twitter. If that was happening, I know Trey Songs beat the brakes off that nigga, man. And no disrespect to, uh, you know, um, Jacquees, but it's just like, come the hell on. Let me see. Period. This nigga's a bitch, bro. This what? nigga came in the club. Time to know this bitch ass nigga Trey Songs is a bitch. What? Period. This nigga's a bitch, bro. How? This nigga came in the club. Time for a bitch ass nigga. Come then you on, come what? outside. At a club and swing on your little brother. Use a bitch. Chris Brown the goat. Use a bitch, brother. About a bitch. That ain't even my bitch. You talking about bitches that's with these niggas? The workers? You talking about people that came with these niggas? Hey man, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You a and I don't give a fuck if you tell anybody anything about what we text you. Put the message on there, bro. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You can never come around me. Fuck you, nigga. Alright, with all due respect, this sound like Trey Songz beat the brakes off of this nigga. That's what it sounded like. Uh oh wow, this is kind of interesting. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Everybody's heard the stories about Trey Songs. Um, I'm not sure why he doesn't address some of these stories. Trey Songs is possessive. Trey Songs is kind of, he's a little aggressive. You know, um, some of the things he's accusing Trey Songs of, I would never say unless I had all the proof in the world. But there is a long story in history of people describing how Trey Songs is with women. But 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 part of what they say about Trey Songs with women is that he's territorial. There was a uh, hey, don't y'all remember uh, again? The only reason why this is kind of relevant, remember when 50 Cent had, he had like, what is it called? Tycoon Weekend Trey Songs. Y'all remember when he was talking about he banned Trey Songs for some shit? Here we go. Let me see. Let me tell you. Like well. Let me see. Uh, we got to try to find it. He had banned Trey Songs. From Tycoon Weekend, and according to why he banned him, he says Trey Songs was in his feelings about women, and you get to you get to find out that that might be Trey Songs' thing. Let me see. Fifty Cent. Now, mm -hmm. wow, Damn. dude, go ahead. It's a, oh, it's a it was like a video, I believe he did. He said bands, Trey songs. Let me see. Is it this? No. Oh, okay. Tony Yeo talked about it, I guess. Been R and B is dead shit. These R and B guys been going wild. <laughs> Trey was wilding. That's my guy. Okay, what what was Trey Songs doing? Because according to 50 Cent, he is banned <laughs> from Tycoon Week. Trey, uh <laughs> That's my guy, man. But Trey yeah, I was. I fuck with Trey too. We go Trey back. Was, but Trey is Mr. Little, literally Mr. Steal Your Girl. Like, fuck that motherfucker. Like, he was on some tough man shit, like, through the whole night. And, you know, I ain't mad at him, but I think it was just the cognac, the branch of cognac. It was very strong, man. Shout out to 50. But. Okay, what? So he was trying to run up on people's girls and. He was Mr. Steal Your Girl. Take your girl. Like. And then, what? The dude would have an issue with that. And of then course. Things would pop off. Of and, course. But. So apparently Trey Songz is kind of known for trying to live up to his name, Mr. Still Your Girl. If you listen to the story, it looked like that's what it sounded like, right? I ain't gonna count. I want the world to know this bitch ass nigga Trey Songz is a bitch. Period. This nigga's a bitch, bro. This nigga came in the club to fuck bitch ass nigga. Then you come outside the club and swing on your little brother. You now here's the thing, Jacquees, I fuck with you, Jacquees, but we all know that you are literally five foot six. Trey Songz a little bit like I, I Trey Songz look like Kareem or Dude Jabbar compared to you, bro. He's a bitch. Chris Brown the goat. You's a bitch, brother. About a bitch. That ain't even my bitch. You talking about bitches that's with these niggas? The workers? You talking about people that came with these niggas? Hey man, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You and I don't give a fuck if you tell anybody anything about what we text you. Put the message on there, bro. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You can never come around me. Fuck. Yeah, right. He not five for six. He like five three. You nigga. Okay, then 
Apparently, Jacques posted this, and he says, Fuck Trey Songs. Can't come back to Atlanta. Why does everybody think they could ban somebody from Atlanta, man? This nigga came in the club and said, I got on a Q fit. Whole time nigga is hating. This man dancing, introducing himself to niggas. All type of shit. Bitch ass nigga. And I gave that bitch ass nigga a compliment. Man, fuck you. You pussy. You a hoe, boy. That love be fake. And this nigga pull out my dread. You better be glad them boys wasn't with me, boy. You over with in the A. Every show we there from the A to NC to Florida. All that shit. Why the hell did, did Jacquees just come online and tell us Trey Songz beat him up? Without without Trey Songz telling us himself. What the fuck? Why the hell? Nah, this is confusing. Nigga, you came online to post the nigga ripping your dreads out and to post that he beat you up and you just said he can't come back to Atlanta? Man, what the fuck? Yo, listen here, rappers. Y'all could take an L in silence. Ain't no reason why y'all got to get online and own up to this shit. Holy shit. Let me see what else is going on. Really? Give me one second. Don't got it over here. Let me go to. I want the world to know this bitch ass nigga Trey. Let me go to Jockey's page. Instagram Jockey's. Yeah, he's perturbed. I want the world to know this bitch ass nigga Trey Songs is a bitch. Period. This nigga's a bitch, bro. This nigga came in a bitch ass nigga. Then you come outside the club and swing on your little brother. You was a bitch. It sounds like Trey Songs was staying on business. I'm going to keep it up being with you. It looked like Trey Songs was a little bit. I don't know if he's spoken on, um, let me see. I don't know if he's spoken on some allegations by Trey Songs before. I could Google it, but look like Trey Songs was like, yo, bro, like, why are you online saying this about me? Let me see. Jacquees talks. Um, what's that name? Trey Songs. Well, he's, he did say it was about a female. Hmm. Chris Brown the goat. Use a bitch, brother. About a bitch. That ain't even my bitch. You talking about bitches that's with these niggas? The workers? You talking about people that came with these niggas? Hey man, fuck you, bitch ass. And I don't give a fuck if you tell anybody. I ain't gonna lie. Hey. I got Chris Brown in this. No, not Chris Brown. I mean, I I got um Trey Songs in this beef, man. Put it like this, man. All these niggas been around Trey Songs while Trey Songs had all these allegations and they had nothing to say because these niggas were scared of getting the eye jammy. That's a fact. I don't want to hear these niggas now come out trying to call Trey Songs some shit that you know. What I mean, obviously, we don't know if it's true. Hey, y'all was hanging around a nigga when y'all heard mad rumors before. Now, because he stole your chick, now he's a R word. Like, come on, bro. I'm not believing it, bro. Again, I'm not saying it can't be true. I'm just saying that we got to start having these, you know, 
good faith like conversations where we're not just trying to call somebody some wild shit just because you don't like them. Body, anything by what we text you, put the message on there, bro. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. You can never come around me. Fuck you, nigga. Look, I ain't even gonna cap. I want the world to know this bitch ass nigga Trey Song. Did Trey Songs even post anything? Maybe he posted something. These niggas in Dubai squabbling? Hey, hold on. Hey. Said I'll be back to hold. Hi, what's your what's your Instagram? Okay, hold on. Hey. E, like David, E, like Echo. Yeah, it looked like, look like this nigga Trey Song's having a time of his life, man. Yo, yo, uh, Jaquise, brother, I know you about five inches shorter than him, man, but go get your get back, nigga. Don't tell us online. We we can't do nothing for you. Go get your get back. Go slide on that nigga. That nigga trying to hit high notes and shit like that, nigga. Hit that nigga in his fucking trachea, nigga. I bet you if you hit that nigga Trey Songs in his trachea, he won't be acting like that with you no more. By the way, y'all niggas all in Dubai acting up. Didn't I see some story? Fredo from the UK sentenced to five years. Y'all keep going to Dubai thinking Dubai is like heaven. I keep telling y'all, man, y'all leave this goddamn country called the United States of America. Just know that your rights has been suspended. All that habeas corpus shit, that shit is a dub, nigga. Y'all niggas are in another person's land. And when they say they don't deal with certain shit, you better buy by them damn rules. Anyway, rapper from the UK, Fredo, has been sentenced allegedly to five years in jail, in a Dubai jail. You know why? They say he was sentenced for five years. Here's why. He was arrested in Dubai late last year with the authorities charging with him with possession of cannabis. That's weed, people. Weed. Fredo de declined to comment on the case, which has set to reach the court of Dubai this week. In the run-up to the hearing, many believe that Fredo could have um, been handed anything up to three years probation if the charges were to be pushed to intention to supply some onlookers warrant. He could gain five years in prison or the above below, according to multiple sources. The online, the first hearing is finished, and he has been given a five-year prison. I don't know how court works there. So it says when you hear the like a, a preliminary online hearing got finished and they're giving this nigga – Five years? Like, how did that turn into, like, a sentence? Who knows? Um, somebody said, not my baby Fredo. We're not talking about Fredo Santana, God rest his dead. We're talking about Fredo from the goddamn UK, okay? Let me see. He ain't doing five years. That's what you think he ain't doing five years. Man, listen, uh -uh. I, don't know how to, I don't know how that prime minister give it up in the UK, but... Unless you got Uncle Trump in there, y'all niggas going to do all y'all time, man. Britney Grinder was lucky, man. That, this, that nigga out in two hours. That shit was crazy. Shout out to my boy 6ix9ine, man. Real rap. You hear me? All right. Let's keep this shit going, though. Yo, Trey Stone's probably beat the shit out of his head. I ain't going to lie to you for all the perverted shit I done heard. You know what? Yo, I heard some shit about Trey Stone. I ain't going to lie to you. If I ever repeated it, bro, they would have sued me, bro. Like, yo, Trey Stone's got the most craziest rumors out of anybody, like, I know that's young. Like, crazy shit like like it's almost it's, it's, i don't even want to like get into it but like trey you gotta address some of these rumors my nigga like some of this shit is crazy all right let me see what's, what else is cracking hey, Shorty, I just like you, but you type of 